Hey guys, uh, today I've got a very short how-to video for you. It's actually more of a uh, do-it-yourself kind of thing. I'm going to turn this laser pointer into a uh, line of sight checker. Okay, so as you can see, this is our standard laser pointer. I got this for roughly around a dollar on a sale. So you can see it uh, fires a red dot. Now the trick is to turn that dot into a line. Now if you Google on the net, you're gonna find uh, different suggestions. One is you should buy a lens that actually converts the beam into a line. Uh, the other is you use acrylic uh, stirring glass, uh, ro uh, stirring rods or glass stirring rods, cut them up and then put it in front. Uh, the one that I chose to try out was you get a regular fuse ball. Now, this is what that looks like. I got that off a uh, car DC to AC converter that I that I had lying around. So I took that and I mounted it on a uh, piece of steel that I found lying around as well. Now temporarily I'm just gonna attach it with blue tack. But the concept is if you get this and you shine your beam through it, you can see it's a single point. There. You get this line. You get to produce this line. Okay. So you have to play around with how far you want it, so on and so how far the the fuse has to be from the beam. But I uh, sort of found the correct measurement. It's basically I just put the bulb directly where the beam is. And now when I shine it, you can see there is a very uh, small faint line being produced. Now if I move it higher, okay, have a straight line being projected. Now this is in no way a, going to replace a dedicated line of sight laser emitter, the ones that you get for like 25 to 35 US dollars. Um, mainly because although this does project a straight line and it is usable, I've actually used it in a game or two, the beam is kind of weak, it gets dispersed. So when you're playing in a well-lit area, the beam is kind of hard to see. Alright, so there you have it. I'd still recommend that you go out and buy a actual line of sight if you really want to invest into it. But if you got, if you're willing to uh, work with a low light beam, you can just grab a laser pointer and do what I did. Right, thanks for watching.